friends here in this video we will see a problem based on temperature stress and strain here we have a question i'll read the question and write the data accordingly a rod 10 meter long length of the rod is given 10 meter so it is 10 into 10 raised to 3 mm at 10 degrees celsius is heated to 70 degrees celsius so 10 degrees celsius is the initial temperature t1 and 70 degrees celsius it is the final temperature next if the free expansion is prevented find the magnitude and nature of stress induced that is we have to calculate the magnitude of stress and its nature a capital e young's modulus is given 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square and alpha value 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius. So this is the question we have. Now, based on this, let us try to get the solution. I'll read it once again that since it is given, a rod is 10 meter long and it is heated. So first, I'll draw the diagram to explain that. Suppose here we have a rod. Whose length is capital L. Now this rod, it is made up of metal and then it is heated. Here I am drawing a heating member which provides heat to this rod. Now, when this metal rod is heated, at first the temperature of the metal rod was 10 degrees Celsius and after heating the temperature has become 70 degrees Celsius. Next, as the rod is made up of metal, then because of the heat there are chances of this rod to expand and this expansion of the rod is called as free expansion denoted by delta L. Now if we are heating such a rod and then we are allowing it to expand freely based on its free expansion value then there will be no stress developed in this rod but if we try to stop this free expansion completely or partially suppose in this example here we have a wall which is trying to stop the free expansion of the metal rod. So when the free expansion is prevented at that time there will be temperature stress developed in this metal rod. So first thing to start in the problem I will find this free expansion value that is since the rod has been heated from 10 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. Therefore, there will be increase in length of the rod. So, increase in length is equal to free expansion of the rod. Therefore, free expansion it is denoted by delta L and it is equal to alpha into delta T into L. So, I will go on putting the values 
delta L is equal to alpha it is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 delta T since the temperature difference is T2 minus T1 so it is 70 minus 10 original length is 10 meter so in mm it is 10 into 10 raised to 3 so from this here I'll get the value I'll write it onto the next page the free expansion comes out to be 7.2 mm so the metal rod I'm just drawing the diagram to explain this in a more effective manner here fully freely expand and this value is delta L now if the free expansion of this metal rod it is given that in the problem that the free expansion is prevented so when we are preventing the free expansion it means we are not allowing this metal rod to expand to 7.2 mm because of the change in temperature it means suppose the free expansion is prevented by having a wall here so because of this wall this metal rod won't be able to expand by delta L and hence I can say that hence if the free expansion is prevented then thermal stresses and strains will be developed in the rod and as we know that when the thermal stresses and strains are developed we need to find the value so first I'll say that therefore thermal strain it is equal to alpha into delta T therefore that is equal to alpha is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 and the temperature change is 70 minus 10 so strain the answer which I have it is 7.2 into 10 raised to minus 4 so this much is the thermal strain next after getting the thermal strain I can find the thermal stress so therefore thermal stress sigma is equal to thermal strain into Young's modulus this formula has come from Hooke's law so therefore thermal stress is equal to thermal strain was 7.2 into 10 raised to minus 4 into Young's modulus given in the problem 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 so from this the stress I have it is 151.2 Newton per mm square so this is my answer and in the problem they are also saying to calculate the nature of stress so as we can see that when the metal rod was freely expanding stress induced was zero but if we are attaching a wall here it means there is a force acting from the wall towards the metal rod and that force is compressive so I can say that therefore nature of stress will be compressive because we are avoiding the free expansion and this is the second answer so in this video we have seen the problem on temperature stress and strain